Okay, now it's going. <laughs> okay, so you guys have 50 note cards done. You're done taking your notes. Now what do you do? All right, so we're going to go back to our sources and outlines in Classroom. And if you haven't done this already and you use the source from the book, you're going to fill this out. So come back and see me and I'll give you that book. You're going to fill that out. Okay, then you're going to go down. We're going to talk about this outline. So when I first started uh, doing the paper, I thought I was going to talk about history and culture first, and then things to do, and then I wasn't really sure about the other one. However, as I was doing my research, it kind of led me into a different path. So the three things I ended up doing is the history of Denali, Park, like how it became a park, and then actually the history of dog kennels in the park or dog sleds. And then we actually did talk about the dogs. So it wasn't what I thought it was going to be. But as I was doing my research, these are the three things that we talked about with my notes. Now, if you did take notes out of that book and you had one of those folders, then, because I've looked at all of them, um, they gave you some history of your park. So one of your paragraphs might be about the history of your park. Maybe not. It kind of depends on you and what you did. But there is a good chance that you might have a paragraph about the history of your park if you use those um, sources that I have on my desk. Okay, so now that I have these three things, what do I do next? So now I'm going to go to my note cards. And I'm going to look at these. And that's why I have paragraphs up here. So can you go up, please? Thank you. Let's go to this one. My first fact, Carter, can you actually go uh, control negative uh, minus to make this bigger? I know that sounds weird, but go control minus. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So Fort Jefferson during Civil War was a prison for the Union. Now this is not about Denali. I switched on me. So this would be a question mark. If I was doing dry tortugas, then Fort Jefferson during Civil War was a prison. It might be the history of the park, or it might be just the history in general. Or maybe you have one about Fort Jefferson. But right now, this has nothing to do with my paper, so I'm going to put a question mark. I don't know where that's going to go. Go down to, thank you, that one, pick it. Okay. So, in winter months, may see a team getting harnessed or on a run. So, it's talking about the sled dogs. So, if I go to my outline, I see that my dogs, the history of the dogs is two, and the dogs in general is three. So, I'm going to change that from a two to a three. Because that's going to be my third paragraph. Okay, go to the next one. Rangers speak and give demonstrations about sled dogs. Can pet a sled dog. That was that paragraph three again. Go ahead and put a paragraph three. Okay, next one. Pets may trigger pack to lunge, bark, and jump and create a hazardous environment. Well, that's kind of about sled dogs, but that's actually about my dog coming to the park. So I'm not sure if that's actually going to fit into paragraph three about sled dogs. So I'm going to put a question mark and then put a three and then another question mark because it might it might possibly be that but it might not fit in and that's definitely can you put a three after the question mark Carter and another question mark because some of my notes, even though they're good notes, might not actually fit in my paragraphs. Okay, let's go to the next one. 
been important to park for a long time and has been become culture and resource. I'm talking about the, the sled dogs. So that to me, if I look at my my outline, is probably history of dog sleds or dog kennel in the park. So that would be paragraph two. So I'm going to continue doing this for my pair for all my note cards, and then I can actually move them around. Now, if you actually did notes on a sheet of paper, some people did notes on a sheet of paper. If you did that, then what you can do instead, if you don't have them on notes, is you can come back to my desk and get three different colors of highlighters and then read the fact and highlight it so that all of them are together. And then what I would do is I would open up a Word document and I would type them based on your colors. Does that make sense to you? Give me a thumbs up if that makes sense to you. Okay, this is only if you wrote it out on paper. Otherwise, you can move these around so everything's paragraph one, paragraph two, paragraph three, and then you might have a bunch of question marks. When you're finished with that, when you're finished with organizing your note cards, then you can go to classwork for period five, or whatever class period you have, and you can come down here to the formal draft or formal outline of your paper, and you can click on that. Now, you can start typing and writing a rough draft on this. We are going to skip the introduction. We're not going to talk about that yet. And we're going to skip the thesis. We will go into more depth later on. But we're going to focus, go ahead and go down, Carter. We're going to focus on paragraph one with our topic sentence. We will, I will give you a lesson about topic sentences. You can just start typing. Now, I kind of messed this up when I was moving it around. So you can get rid of these lines if you want to and just type there. You can also write it by hand if you want to. You don't have to type it, but this is there. Can you back, go back to classwork for period five, Carter? Okay. I thought I put something in here. Can you go all the way to the bottom, Carter? My research progress po process. Um, when we start getting done, when you're done with your note cards and you're done with putting numbers on them and you're done organizing your note cards, I want you to stick them here. I want you to add them to this. Do not turn them in. And what this says is that the research project is a process. So when we make our portfolio, which is coming up, and we go to that standard that says that we understand the process of writing, here's all your stuff you're going to need for your, for your portfolio right here. So in here, we're going to put our note cards, our outline, which was that. Can you go back to that one? It's going to have this in there. Okay, go back to classwork. It's going to have your rough draft, which is going to be that right there. Or it, maybe it's going to be, maybe it's typed from what you wrote, but that's going to be in there. And then it's going to have your first draft and second draft and your final draft all in there. So it's all together. So when you actually turn this in, this paper in, you're going to be turning in five to six things. And it's going to be all together so that when we create our portfolio, which is coming up, you, all you have to do is go to this assignment and take it to your portfolio. Does that make sense to you? Okay. All right, go ahead and get to work.